Ladies and gentlemen, I say this with the utmost respect. It's going to be an honor and it's going to be a privilege to say these words. It's time. It is time we are going to sit here throughout the whole duration, all two and a half hours maybe, of this musical, play, Broadway, historical, greatest sensation. And this is Hamilton. I know what everyone's thinking. You live in New York. You lived under a rock, I guess. You've never seen Hamilton. Well, you see, the way life works, I, I am as cheap as it could be. I didn't plan to ever dish out money to see this live in person. I'm glad we have it here on Disney+. Plus. I have yet to check it out. I know it came out maybe during the pandemic, quarantine two years ago. It just never really piqued my interest. Obviously, I know of Lin-Manuel Miranda. I know of some of the cast members, but... I've never sat to see this in full in its entirety, to be quite honest. A lot of my friends are heavy with the Hamilton, and they're always egging me on, like, yo, you should do a reaction. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. I was always just, you know, dodging the bullet. But listen, I got nothing to do today. I'm doing laundry, so I have a timer. So when it's time to do laundry, I'm going to pause and bounce back and forth. I got some snacks. I got my drinks. Let's just soak in the vibes. Let's. I'm hoping this is going to give me the ideal as if I'm sitting in the theater on Broadway and just feeling the Lin-Manuel Miranda magic. Because reactions when it comes to his content, it's not even the tip of the surface. Obviously, some works with Encanto, but like no like Tick, Tick, Boom, no even Hamilton, no even Moana and his various other works that he's dibbled and dabbled with. So for all you Lin-Manuel Miranda fans out there, this one's for you. For all you subscribers who have been requesting this, this is for you. For all my close friends and loved ones who have requested this, this is for you. And more importantly, if you are new to the channel and I earn your subscription throughout this entire play, please give the video a like, comment all your thoughts and opinions down below. And if I am confused along the way, please clarify. And I earned that subscription, subscribe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hamilton, the musical, the spectacle. This is your king, George III. King George. Welcome to Hamilton. I feel it. I At feel this it. this time, please silence all cell phones and other electronic devices. Got it. Hold on. All photography and video recording okay. is strictly prohibited. As it should. All right, so I got a question. So this was the king, and he said, enjoy my show. So the king is going to be running this entire ship? We'll see. So this is from June 2016, this filming... So, five years, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, wow, six years now. Damn. All right, let's go. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore, and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of mm. a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence impoverished and squalor grow up to be a hero and a scholar? The ten dollar founded father without Ooh. a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter. And every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves, he struggled and kept his guard up. Inside, he was longing for something to be a part oh of. The goodness. brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, or barter. Then a hurricane came. Devastation brain. She just descended to the mainland. Get your education. Don't forget from whence you came. And the world's gonna know your name. What's your name? Alexander. Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. My name is Alexander Hamilton. Oh, that gave me goosebumps, y'all. There's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait. Just you I like that lyric in New York you could be a new man because if you can make it here you can make it anywhere that all right so obviously 
Lin Manuel is Hamilton. That was a smooth transition. What's your name? And then he just comes in from the dark. He said Alexander Hamilton. That was fire. That was fire. Okay, but these this guy obviously he looks like he's gonna have a big part here with the burgundy coat, jacket, whatever it is. Because now he's taking Alexander Hamilton, his jacket, and then it looks like he's getting a new coat. Wow. Yo, their bars are sick. On the Yo, is it sad that I'm only a couple minutes in and I'm already sold? That's heat. So he's on his way out, obviously. So he's on his way looking to New York and everyone, all the friends, I guess, loved ones, close relatives, anything within his circle. You all seen there as they all had a reflective as to what they mean to his life. Like this person loved him and then him, I shot him. So that's like a foreshadowing type of thing. Or did they shoot him and obviously he didn't die. I don't know. I got so many questions, y'all. Oh my, this is sick. Fire. Depends who's asking. Oh, well, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard your name at Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. When I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of yours, I may have punched him. It's a blur, sir. He handles the financials. You punched the bursar? Yes, I wanted to do what you did. Graduate in two and join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. <laughs> so how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? was my parents dying wish before they passed all right so Ham alexander hamilton aaron burr the year is 1776 what happened that year the declaration of independence was signed wow yo it's this is like and i'm not a big history buff like that i just know just to know just to get through like school and stuff but like yo the the fact that there's hip-hop in this and they're telling the story it's making me pay attention more than i did in school like, this is driving me in. This is making me want to know more. Like, I want to see this entire play. Like, I want to know where the characters go, who ends up with who, what happens in the end. Showtime, showtime, yo! I'm John Lawrence in the place to be at two points of Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. Those red coats don't want it with me, because I will pop, check up, block these cops till I'm free. Now we leave on the mission in the bed, like, yes, the lens are locked up, the revolution now is set. Drop a bar. They're not gonna brush that over. He's not gonna blow away his shot. Why? Because they're telling him, yo. <laughs> they're like they're tossing Alexander Hamilton to the side, and he's like, nah. I got the spotlight. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna drop some bars. Everyone here drops some bars. Let me show you what I could. Yeah. 
I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. I'm not going to throw away my shot. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I don't even want to throw in this type of comparison here, but I just finished the Kanye documentary, Genius or Junior, whatever, however it's pronounced. And episode one is giving me heavy similarity to this because I didn't know, and I'm a big Kanye fan, as you guys know, I didn't know his story that he moved from Chicago to New York to try to get a record deal with Jay-Z. And he literally showed up to Def Jam, Rockefeller Records to try to get a record deal. And he's rapping for the receptionist. He's rapping for all these executives. And they're literally putting him in a box. They're like, listen, your rapping is cool, but that's not what we want you for. We want you to be a producer. And he literally wanted to break the box and break that stigma. And that's exactly what we're comparing it to here for me because he's young, scrappy, and hungry. He doesn't want to throw away his shot. He's here. He's in the present. He's in front of all of y'all. I dream of life without a monarchy. The unrest in France will lead to anarchy. Mm. Anarchy. Are you saying? Are you all anarchy? When I fight, I make <laughs> the other side panicky with my shit. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice. And I got John Knuckleheads and local parentis. Oh. I'm joining the rebellion because I know it's my chance. I socially advance. Instead, it's always the pants are going to take a shot. But we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. You and I do it down. Wait till I sally in on a stallion with mm. the first black battalion of another shot. The odds of gods who put us all in one spot. Hot in a squad and conventional wisdom like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary manual mission abolitionists. Give me a position. Show me where the ammunition is. Oh, let's go. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get overexcited. Shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. Question. Alexander Hamilton, right in the middle. To the left, Anthony Ramos, what character is he? To the right, the two fellas right there. What are their characters? Because clearly they're they're the main, obviously they're the main objective. They're in the middle of my freaking screen here, in the middle of our screen. What's their names? Say their names. Live comment down below. Unless it clarifies throughout the video. Or it already happened, then it just went over my head. But like, yo, this, that, that drew me in. Is this available to download? Like, could I listen to this aside from watching this? Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Raise a glass of freedom. Something they can never take away. Mm. No matter what they tell you, no matter what they tell you, let's have another round tonight. There's a glass to the four of us. Tell the story. Tell the story, Kings. Daddy said 
They're sisters. Clearly. These bars are excellent. I'm a trust fund, baby. You can trust me. Come on, fam. Okay, so I know one of the names. I heard it quickly. It, it read over my head. I heard Eliza. I don't know who's Eliza. Listen, I'm trying to picture the names with the faces here, but listen, this is this is just giving me chills. Obviously, if this is all first time, of course. Um, if you picked up the characters on your first time, more power to you. This, if it took you a longer time, I guess you could comment down below. How many times did you watch this before you knew every single character? Every single character. How many times? We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Facts. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, I'm gonna compel him to include women in the sequel. Right. Look around, look around, be the greatest city in the world. Facts. Oh, the king. The king. He's here. He's here. The king. He's here. You say the price of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Come on, sisters. As a kid in the Caribbean, I wished for a war. I knew that I was poor. I knew it was the only way to rise up. If they tell my story, I am either gonna die on the battlefield in glory or the prize. We will fight for this land. There's only one man who can give us a command so we can rise up. Yo, I don't, I don't want to put a basketball reference here, but right now these these five look like the Golden State Warriors. You got Steph, you got Clay. Rise up. Here he comes. Here comes the general. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the general. Two you've been waiting for. Let's go. Talk to me. The pride of Mount Vernon. George Washington. We are all good. Oh, man. I've numbered our plan. George Washington. We got to make it all. I know a guy. <laughs> the battery on the battery, check the damages. We gotta stop them and rob them of their advantages. Let's take a stand with the stamina. God has granted us Hamilton on the banish. And yeah, let's steal the cannons. Why oh, is this so good? This close to giving up. Face of mad spook me. I see you in the face of the greatest thing I've ever seen. Well, he's the men with which I am to defend America. We ride at midnight, Manhattan in the distance. I cannot be everywhere at once. People, I'm in dire need of assistance. Your Excellency, sir. Who are you? Aaron, Aaron Burr. Burr. Sir, 
permission to state my case as you were sir wait wait all right so george washington's looking for a right hand man aaron burr right here is making his case so are him and alexander hamilton gonna now have beef to be his right hand man <laughs> yo this is too good this is too good this is too good this is freaking too good this is gonna live in my mind rent free forever and ever and ever this is freaking phenomenal this my next birthday has to be Hamilton deemed. Your Excellency, you wanted to see me. There he is. Hamilton, come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We, we keep, keep meeting. meeting. As I was saying, <laughs> sir, I look forward to seeing your strategy play out. Burr, sir, close the door on your way out. Ooh. Ooh. Have I done something wrong, sir? On the contrary, I called you here because our odds are beyond scary. Your reputation precedes you, but I have to laugh. Sir. Hamilton, how come no one can get you on their staff? Sir, dying is easy. Young man living is harder. Why are you telling me this? I'm being honest. I'm working with a third of what our Congress has promised. We are a powder keg about to explode. I need someone like you to lighten the load. So... <gasps> Oh my god, with the acapella in the background. I'm done. I'm done. I am not throwing away my shot, son. We are all the help you can get. I have some friends more in Son of a whore, go on and on, grow into more of a phenomenon. Watch this obnoxious, arrogant, loud mouth bother. Be seated at the right hand of the father. Washington hires Hamilton right on sight. Mm. But Hamilton still wants to fight, not right to Martha Washington named her feral tomcat after him. That's true. <laughs> 1780, a winter's ball, and the Skylar sisters are the envy of all. Yo, if you could marry a sister, your rich son. Is it a question of if or which one? Mm. <laughs> all right, there's three of them. There's three sisters. It's a matter of which one. Oh, this is perfect timing. The laundry is done. My computer's about to die. <laughs> We're going to take an intermission. You know, they do say love is blind, but realistically, this is in hindsight. This is right in front of me. This is just like, I see the phenomenon. I see where the phenomenon comes from. Look into your eyes in the sky and I'm helpless. Down for the count and I'm drowning. I'll have never been the type to try and grab the spot tonight. Lead the way, girl. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. <gasps> One week later, I'm writing a letter nightly. Now my life gets better every letter that you write me. Laughing at my sister, because she wants to fill my hair on me. I'm just gonna pause it real quick. Isn't it crazy how like they're talking about writing letters? Like every letter that you receive, it's just like it's a warm awakening. I mean, especially now we all got these, right? So we all got these, whether you do got iPhone, Android, Google, whatever it may be. Um, yeah, a, a single, a simple text, a simple DM is literally more powerful, and even at this time, equivalent in the 1700s to a letter, a messenger pigeon. That's crazy, yo. I just had to point that out there. Aww. Eliza, I don't have a dollar to my name, an acre of land, a troop to command, a dollar for fame. All I have is my honor, a tolerance for pain, a couple of college credits, and my top notch brain. What is it?
Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Alright, alright, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> hey, let's go! Angelica. Oh, Angelica. Oh my god. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Forget yourself. You're like me. I'm never satisfied. Is that right? I've never been satisfied. Bro. My name is Angelica Skyler. Alexander Hamilton. Am I the only one seeing this? He is he now falling in love with the sister? There, was there a falling out with the wife? And all of a sudden now it's like, listen. You're gonna go down that family tree, and but if this is your technically your brother-in-law, how do you not know him? Weren't you at the wedding? Is is that am I am I missing something? Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. <laughs> this is kind of like a deja vu moment for her because basically she's living in the moment reflecting on when uh, alexander hamilton met her sister but also reflecting on the time when i guess he tr attempted and tried to hit on her and she has to reflect and think that i have to marry for money but he doesn't have money he doesn't even have a penny or an acre of land to his name so while i'm the oldest and this is what i have to put on as an example for my family why is my sister Unless the, Eliza is the youngest sister, is she going down this path? Thank you for all your service. It takes fighting a war for us to meet. It will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't tied him up so quickly. At least my dear Eliza's his wife. <laughs> Okay, that was interesting. I like that. That added a lot of context. It really did. Cause if the town captain get mad, if Alexander can get mad, his hope for our rest after all, raise a glass to read out. Hey! Something you will never see again, no matter what she tells you. Let's have another round tonight. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst bird. <laughs> More than congrats to you, Lieutenant Colonel. I wish I had your command. So, what are you trying to hide? I should go. No, these guys should go. Uh, Leave us alone, oh, man. It's all right, Bert. I wish you brought this girl with you tonight, Bert. You're very kind, but I'm afraid it's unlawful, sir. What do you mean? She's married. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. Congrats <laughs> again, Alexander. What are you waiting for? The good one's going to wait too long. See you on the other side of the war. See you on the other side of the war. Keep loving anyway. Laugh and cry and break and make up mistakes. And if there's a reason, I'm by her side. And so many have tried. And I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. 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 I can do one thing in life I can control. I just spilled water all over my shirt. Oh lord. Alright, alright. This is great. This is just fantastic. Should I rock it? It's only water. Whatever. 
Hamilton doesn't hesitate. He exhibits no restraint. He takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Changes the game, plays and he raises. <laughs> I have seen the general so despondent I have taken over writing all his correspondence Congress writes George attack the British force To so win this, provoke outreach Outright, that's right Don't engage, strike by night I ask for French aid, I pray that France has sent a ship I stay at work with Hamilton, we write essays against slavery And every day's a test of our camaraderie and brain So we cut supply lines, we steal contraband We pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand And every day, sir, entrust me with the command And every day, no, he dismisses me out of hand Ooh. Hamilton, ready, sir? Have a fear, take the lead Ooh. Sir, how's the soldiers die in a hundred degree heat As we snatch our stalemates from the jaws of defeat Charles Lee was left behind without a pot to piss in He started saying this to anybody who would listen Ooh. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices I can't disobey direct order Then I'll do it Oh, okay, all right Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got Lawrence, do not throw away your shot One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a ten dual commandment. It's a ten dual commandment. The Ten Dual Commandments, like the Ten Crack Commandments from Biggie Small. Oh my god, you know what? You know what? That's G that's genius. This is taking place in New York. The artistic ability that Lynn Manuel Miranda is setting forward, meshing hip hop elements of the greatest golden era into this play which is this is just this is phenomenal the fact that it's just this cross genre is just blowing my mind because i'm not gonna lie i'm not a big musical person but this right now the fact that it's just ever growing never stopping it's what's drawing me in oh my god this was well worth spilling the water on my shirt, like for sure. Number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. Number two, if they don't, grab a friend, that's your second. The lieutenant, when there's reckoning to be reckoned. Number three, have your seconds meet face to face. Negotiate a peace. Or negotiate a time and place. And have him turn around so he can have deniability. Oh my god. Call me for the sun is in the sky. Even though for your next to kin, sure, but your man has to answer for his words, bro. With his life, we both know that's absurd, sir. Hang on, how many men died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Ooh. Okay, so we're doing this. Look him in the eye, in no higher, summon all the courage you require. Nothing. You aggravate our allies to the south. Absolutely right. John should have shot him in the mouth. That would have shut him up. Ooh. So we're not your son. Watch your tone. Ooh. I am not a maiden in need of defending. Charlie, I am wrong. Thomas Conway, these men take your name and they rake it through the mud. My name has been through a lot. I can take Well, I don't have your name. I don't have your titles. I don't have your land. But if you know, if you gave me command of a battalion, a group of men to lead, I could fly over my station after the war. Or you could die and we need you alive. I am more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive son i need you alive. Call this on one more time see see george washington's trying to protect hamilton he's just like listen listen i get what you're doing listen we you you're doing things to try to help us but realistically it looks like george washington is trying to play it safe he's trying to play things safe and just run the course and alexander hamilton's trying to once again still make things happen he's trying to make things happen he's like yo listen fam you let me run a commanding troops of men the mission is going to be accomplished a lot quicker and a lot more efficient and you won't regret putting me in command and then he's like listen no but what about your wife and then he's like listen i'm willing to sacrifice anything and anything for my country to get things going and she'll honor that for me but he's just gonna send her home now Oh my god. That's an order from your commander. Oh, that's an order. So go home. <gasps> look around, look around. Look 
around you. How long have you known me? A month or so. Eliza, you should have told me. I wrote to the general a month ago. No. I begged him to send you home. You should have told me. I'm not sorry. Aww. 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 It's a love story. Will you relish being a poor man's wife? Would be enough. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful because she went to George Washington and requested he gets back home for the birth of their kid. For the birth of their kid. Because she didn't want him to miss these life's precious moments. And he's like, why didn't you tell me that you wanted to do this? Why do you have to go through somebody else to give me an order to come home? You could have just told me directly and I would have considered things. Oh my god, this is so be this is so beautiful. Yo, that face is looking like the meme where somebody puts their cell phone to their TV. There it is. Oh, there's the baby. Yo, I'm shipping them heavy. Like this is they're a great couple. Ragtag volunteer army in need of a shower Somehow defeat a global superpower How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire Leave the battlefield waving Betsy Ross's flag higher Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting friends hey! Get him, King. Go get him. Go get him, King. Isn't it crazy how the same person that was begging and pleading for him to leave the you know the battle, the war that's going on to go back to their wife, now that he's begging and pleading for them to come back? The good ones go, man. The good ones go. And when you realize when the going gets tough, your right hand man, the person that was going to lead and carry this ship, you send them home. When the going gets tough, look what happens. You're, you're begging for them back. The Battle of Yorktown. 1781. Okay. Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. In command where you belong. Are you saying no sweat? We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Immigrants. We get the job done. <laughs> France, I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your men. See you on the other side. Here we be again. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go let us go an experiment begins with my friends all scattered to the wind inside that's right I believe I got it spied on a British government I take the measurements information and then I smuggle it back to my book it's revolutionary company and I'm running with the sons of liberty and I am loving it's a hand to have it when you up against the perfect years we in the shit now somebody's gotta shuffle it Hercules Mulligan I mean I want you to touch you when you're not big I got the shit back on that with the shuffle They surrender. We lower our guns as he frantically waves their white handkerchief. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded. We count our dead. For screams and church bells ringing. And as a fallen foe's retreat, I hear the drinking song they're singing. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 
King's back. It's my man. It is. They say the price of my war's not a price that they're willing to pay. I'm so blue. I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away. You were mine to subdue. Da 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 When our children tell our story, will you read it for me? They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday the 27th, my son was killed in a gunfight against British troops retreating from South Carolina. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Alexander? Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry too. I have so much work to do. <laughs> After the war, I went back to New York. After the war, I went back to New York. I finished up my studies and I practiced law. This economy is increasingly starving, and honestly, that's why public it's service seems to be calling me. I practiced the law, practically perfected it. I've seen injustice in the world, and I've corrected it. Now for a strong central democracy, if not, then I'll be Socrates throwing verbal rocks at these mediocrities. Hamilton at the Constitutional Convention. I was chosen for the Constitutional Convention. There is a New York Junior Delegate. Now, what I'm going to say may sound indelicate. Oh. Goes and proposes his own form of government. Incredible in court. You're succinct, persuasive. My client needs a strong defense. You're the solution. Well, who's your client? The new U.S. Constitution. No. Hear me <laughs> out. No way. A series of essays anonymously published defending the document to the public. No one will read it. I disagree. And if it fails? Burr, that's why we need it. The Constitution's a mess. So it needs amendments. It's full of contradictions. So is independence. We have to start somewhere. Yeah. No. No way. You're making a mistake. Good night. Hey, what are you... One thing I'm liking about early is Alexander Hamilton throughout the entire play, he's like a risk taker. He wants to push the envelope. He wants to get things going. And then everyone around him is all like playing it safe. They're like, no, listen, this is not going to work because we got this in place. Or this isn't going to work because we don't, we're not ready for it. And he's just like, listen, ready or not, like here I come. I'm going to keep pushing the envelope. I'm going to keep taking these risks. I'm going to keep doing the unconventional thing to get things going and moving in the right direction. And he's not taking no for an answer. And even though he's getting pushed back, he's still going to keep pushing the envelope. And he's still going to keep all his surrounding sources within the loop and just take matter into his own hands. Damn, man. I feel you heavy, bro. Sailing up to London, I'm accompanied by someone who always pays. I have found a wealthy husband who will keep me in comfort for all my days. He is not a lot of fun, but there is no one who can match you for turn of phrase. Look at his face. Alexander, go? don't forget to run. Look at where you the plan was to write a total of 25 essays. The work divided evenly among the three men. Mm -hmm. In the end, they wrote 85 essays. Oh, shit. In a span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Running out of time. Tell him, kid. Tell him, kid. As we got a minute intermission underway, ladies and gentlemen, that first half 
Oh, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in from Hamilton, Aaron Burr, George Washington, Eliza, Angela, all the three sisters. Oh, to even the associates within. Oh, my God. And then the kid. This is a lot to take in. But I got to say, I've been hooked within the next first 10 minutes even. And I'm even hooked now. I think I'm a stan. I think I'm a stan on this first watch. And this this is going to be my comfort play. I think when the going gets tough and I got literally the world collapsing on my shoulders, I'm just going to sit back, relax, put this play on, and just let everything play out as it is and just be indulged with Hamilton because this is beautiful. And hopefully one day I do get to see this play just to experience it with a playbill because that's what we do it for, right? If you don't, If you don't take a picture of the playbill, did you really go to the play? I'm just saying. But yeah, hopefully one day. But let's let's get this second half started. I hope everyone's doing well. Listen, this has been a roller coaster. Uh, I finished all my snacks. My water pretty much spilled entirely on my shirt. It's starting to dry up a little bit, which is good. Have it all, lose it all. You ready for more yet? Treasury Secretary Washington's the president. Every American experiment sets a precedent. Not too fast, someone came along to resist him. Oh. Pissed him off until we had a two-party system. You haven't met him yet. You haven't had the chance. Cause he's been kicking ass as the ambassador to France. But someone's got to keep the American promise. You simply must meet Thomas. Thomas. Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, Alexander Hamilton. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. They're having a cabinet meeting, a.k.a. it's looking like it's a rap battle, which is making sense because the cabinet meeting, you're going back and forth between both parties to get whatever declaration you want out there. In this instance, they're having a rap battle and saying both sides of their story to put the allegiance over the other. Yo, this, oh man, this this just whole concept is genius. It's It's really what it's coming down to. It's freaking genius very seat of government where hamilton sits not true oh if the shoe fits wear it if new york's in debt why should virginia bear it <laughs> uh our debts are paid i'm afraid don't tax the south because we got it made in the shade in virginia we plant seeds in the ground we create you just want to move our money around this financial plan is an outrageous demand and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand imagine what gonna happen when you try to tax our whiskey thank you secretary jefferson mic drop let's go thomas that was a real nice declaration welcome to the present we're running a real nation would you like to join us 
stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you do in Monticello. <laughs> we assume the debts, the union gets you. The new line of credit, a financial diuretic. How do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost. You'd rather give it a sedative? A civics lesson from a slaver. Hey, neighbor, your debts are paid because you don't pay for labor. We plant seeds in the South. We create, you keep ranting. We know who's really doing the planting. And another thing is sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over. I'll show you where my shoe fits. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. Madison Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. <laughs> We're going to reconvene after a brief recess. <laughs> Hamilton, sir, a word. You don't have the votes. <laughs> you know, you can Love those adverbs. You don't have the votes. Such a blunder, sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? That was gold. That was gold. They don't have a plan, they just hate mine. Convince them otherwise. But what happens if I don't get congressional approval? I imagine they'll call for your removal, sir. Figure it out, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Mm. There's a little surprise before supper and it cannot wait. I'll be there in just a minute, save my plane. Alexander, okay, okay. your son is nine years old today. Wow. He has something he'd like to say. He's been practicing all day. Philip, take it away. Daddy, daddy, look. My name is Philip. I am a poet. I wrote this poem just to show it. And I just turned nine. You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine. Oh. Alexander, I came all this way. Oh. 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 You know I have to get my plan to Congress. Run away with us for the summer. Let's go stay. I lose my job if we don't get this plan to Congress. We can all go stay with our father. Someone under stress meets someone looking pretty. There's trouble in the air, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. And Alexander's by himself. I'll let him tell it. When Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life, she said, I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all alone. She said, my husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, Ooh. mistreating me. Suddenly he's up and gone. I don't have the means to go on. So I offered her alone. I offered to walk her home. And her body's saying, hell yes. It's getting spicy. I don't know how to say no to this. In my mind I'm trying to go now. And her mouth is on mine and I don't say. Last time I said that last time it became a pastime. A month into this endeavor, I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds. Even better, it said, Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth. You see, that was my wife who decided to. Uh -oh. You made the wrong sucker a cuck hole. So time to pick the pack up all the pants you unbuckled. And hey, you can keep seeing my whole wife if the price is right. If not, I'm telling your wife. I hit the letter and I race to a place. Read, I'll cut you in the face. She said, No, sir. You pay, you Look at that face. They're getting promiscuous. They are getting promiscuous. Like, fam. This is like him collecting all the Infinity Stones. This is the last Infinity Stone for the sisters. Because he, he married the youngest. The oldest he had a little fling with. And then he's like, you know what? Shoot for the stars. Aim for the moon. Even though I said last time was the last time on my past life. Realistically. Uh-uh. I wish. I wish. I can't let this one go. Oh. Nobody needs to know. 
Damn, you gave him hush money. Now, how you gonna get to that plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Silly. <laughs> Talk less. <laughs> Smart more. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. Now Madison and Jefferson are merciless. What? Is the sin love the sinner? Hamilton. I'm sorry, Burr, I gotta go. Oh, but the uh, decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. Alexander said, I have nowhere else to turn. And basically begged me to join the fray. I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Well, I arranged the meeting. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating, but no one else was in the room, maybe happy. Madison responds with Virginian insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win a victory for the Southerners. In other words, oh, ho. Oh, oh, ho. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac. And you'll provide him his vote. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. Now, Let's go. What else was in the room, maybe happy? What did they say to you to get you to tell me? Did Washington know about the dinner? Was the presidential pressure to do? Oh, Yo, Aaron Burr's we getting spicy. Thanks, we're in the same spot. You got more than you gave, and I wanted what I got. Mm. When you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game. Oh, you get love for it, you get hate for it, you get nothing if you win for it, win for it. Win. God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's gonna outlive me. Hold your nose and close your eyes. You want to leave us to say today. You don't get a say in what they trade away. We dream of a brand new start. But the dream in the dark for the most part. God can't assume that My man was getting saucy with it. He was getting saucy with it. I respect it, man. I love that. That that was just a great like infatuation of bringing all the characters. Because this was pretty much the most solo focus we've seen to the date, I guess, for Aaron Burr. Because he was always with Hamilton doing things. This one was like Hamilton, Jefferson, Madison. They took that step back. And this was Aaron Burr's time to shine. I love that. I love that for him. Since when are you a Democratic Republican? Since being one put me on the up and up again. No one knows who you are or what you do. They don't need to know me. They don't like you. Excuse me? Oh, Wall Street thinks you're great. You'll always be adored by the things you create. But upstate, what people think you're crooked. This guy that seat was up for grabs, so I took it. Secretary Jefferson, you have the okay. floor, sir. Come on. <laughs> when we were on death's door, when we were needy, we made a promise. We signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, <laughs> they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we'd lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppressors and revolution is messy, but now is the time to stand. Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I'll remind you that he is not Secretary of State. He knows nothing of loyalty. Smells like new money, dresses like fake royalty. Desperate to rise above his station, everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. Hey, and if you don't know, now you know, no. Mr. President. Hey. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think the president is going to bring the nation to the brink of meddling in the middle of a military mess, a game of chess, where France is queen and kingless. We signed a treaty with the king whose head is now in a basket. Would you like to take it out and ask it? Or should we honor our treaty, King Louis' head? Oh, do whatever you want. I'm super dead. Enough, enough. Ooh. Hamilton is right. Mr. President. Two frauds will start another fight. Lafayette's a smart man. He'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. 
If we try to fight in every revolution in the world, we never stop. Where do we draw the line? So quick-witted. Alas, I admit it. I bet you were quite a lawyer. My defendants got acquitted. Oh my god, the hostility. Here comes Aaron Burr. It must be nice. It must be nice to have Washington on your side. It must be nice. It must be <laughs> I love nice Jefferson. To have Washington on your side. Every action has an equal opposite reaction. It must be nice to have Washington on your side. Look back at the Bill of Rights. Which I wrote. <laughs> the ink has dried. Talk your shit. It must be nice. It must be nice to have Washington on your side. So he's doubled the size of the government. Wasn't the trouble with much of our previous government size. You can't put it out from inside the house. I'm in the cabinet. I am complicit in watching him grabbing at power and kissing it. Washington isn't gonna listen to discipline dissidents. This is the difference. This kid is out. Oh, immigrant isn't somebody we chose. Oh, it's immigrants keeping us all on our toes. Oh, oh. So this letter is to the Republicans. Oh, I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. <laughs> Damn, what's the beef with Jefferson? Jefferson honestly is starting to gravitate towards me, and he might be one of my favorites. He might be, when it's all said and done, one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite characters. So now I have a question. Anthony Ramos' character in this play, does he play Alexander Hamilton's son? Or that's like a flashback type back and forth thing because now you see him in the aspect of referring to him as you know dad father as opposed to what he was before with aaron burr jefferson and madison hmm oh this is too good this is getting good everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree and no one shall make them afraid We'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree, a moment alone in the shade. At home, in this nation we've made. One last time. One last time. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think George Washington got it in him. I was like, yo, it truly is never a right or wrong time to even say goodbye. It's always the hardest goodbye. And he's stepping down. He's stepping down. And it, this truly is a sad, hard goodbye. Because in the midst of him potentially stepping down, now that it's, oh, someone's got to be a replacement for him. Someone's got to be the replacement instead of being the right hand man. They got to be the man, the guy, the person that's going to lead this country to the promised land. Oh, this the the story in this entire play is fire. <laughs> Nothing but respect for my king. John Adams. Good luck. It's done. Hamilton publishes his response. Sit down, John. You fat mother. Hamilton's out of control. This is great. He's out of power. 
he holds no office, and he just destroyed President John Adams, the only other significant member of his party. Hamilton is a host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. Confess. You have nothing. I don't have to tell you anything at all. Unless. Unless. If I can prove that I never broke the law, do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened. Is that a yes? Um, yes. See, that was my wife who you decided. Wow. She courted me, <laughs> escorted me to bed, and when she had me in the corner, the twin Reynolds escorted me. This is, the, this is gonna be a Thomas Jefferson Stan account now. This this guy is heat. This he's he's just like my spirit animal. He's speaking to me right now. His actions, his phrases, his bar, his mannerisms. I'm all for it. I'm all for it, man. This guy speaks volume to me right now. I have reasons for shame, but I have not committed treason and sullied my good name. As you can see, I have done nothing to provoke illegal action. Are my answers to your satisfaction? My God. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's go. Oh, man. So? It would get dramatic, would it? Oh, my God. In the eye of a hurricane, there is quiet. But just a moment. I'm out of loss of words. The yellow sky. No way out of hell. I wrote my way to revolution. I was louder than the clack and the bell. I wrote the lies of love letters until she fell. I wrote about the Constitution and defended it well. And in the face of ignorance and resistance, I wrote financial systems into existence. When the prayers to God remembered the deliverance, I picked up a pen, I wrote my own deliverance. This is the only way I can protect my legacy. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait. The Reynolds pamphlet. Ooh, the now Reynolds with pamphlet. the bass. <gasps> Have you read this, Alexander Hamilton? Had a torrid affair, and he wrote it down right there. I was. The charge against me is a connection with one James Reynolds for purposes of improper speculation. But let's make no way to laugh. I came as soon as I heard. What? Uh, All the way from London? Yeah. Hell. Thank God someone understands what I'm struggling here to do. I'm not here for you. <gasps> He's here for I the know sister. My sister like I know my own. It's a poor wife. He got caught, man. Got exposed. It is what it is. And there's Eliza. On a park bench thinking to herself. Crazy. Your sentences border on senseless, and you are paranoid in every paragraph. How they perceive you. Oh my god. You, you, you. I'm watching you too. See what happens, man? The good ones go, man. You got caught up in the sauce. You think her, she's not going to find out? You really think having an affair with her sister is going to lead to good things? No, because then the older sister gets involved, and then it just trickles down. Eliza might be the baby, but she's wise. The family knows what they're doing, man. If family ties at the end of the day, and not only did you lose your wife, you potentially almost ruined the family. 
your frocks. How about when I get back, we all strip down to our socks? They got blown away. That's for sure. If you had only heard the shit he said about you, I doubt you would have let it slide, and I was not about to slow down. I came to ask you for advice. This is my very first school. They don't exactly cover this subject in boarding school. Did your friends attempt to negotiate a peace? He refused to apologize. We had to let the peace talk cease. Where is this happening? Across the river in Jersey. Everything is legal in New Jersey. All right. Fill up your mother can't take another heartbreak. Promise me. You don't want this young man's blood on your conscience. Okay, I promise. Come back home when you're done. Take my guns. Be smart. Make me proud, son. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Damn, they got the revenge. Mr. Hamilton, come in. They brought him in a half an hour ago. He lost a lot of blood this on the way over. Yes, but you have to understand. The bullet entered just above his hip and lodged with his Can right I see arm. him, please? He should have been crying. I know, 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 save your strength and stay alive. Such an intimate moment because it's technically husband and wife if if they are still together. They could just be together at the moment because he is still wearing the ring. Okay, so I guess he's playing their son, right? He Philip, right? Philip Hamilton, that would be the name. Look at that! It's just like oh, this is this is a solid little family moment. I'm shedding a tear because this is too beautiful. Oh my God! That's it. Oh. That's it. That's it. That never used to happen before. This is too good. This is way too good. it away from the city This is giving me a roller coaster of emotions right now. Like the entire duration, start to finish, it's been nonstop aside from the one minute intermission. But, but like emotions, we've laughed, we've cried, we've squealed, we were in awe, we were in shock, my jaw dropped, the mic even dropped. Oh my god. Better late than never. But like I've been missing out heavy. Don't ask why. Don't even ask how. It just, it happened. And we're reliving it. And I'm glad we're seeing this for the first time. Can we get back to politics? Please. Yo, every action has an equal opposite reaction. John Adams, shat the bed. I love the guy, but he's in traction. Poor Alexander Hamilton, he is missing in action. So now I'm facing Aaron Burr with his own faction. Change course, a key endorsement might redeem you. Who did you have in mind? Don't laugh. Who is it? You used to work on the same staff. Wow. It might be nice. It might be nice to get.
Hamilton on your side. No. It He's not going to give up his shot. It's a time. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, it's up to the delegates. Oh, people are asking to hear my voice. Oh, the country is facing a difficult choice. Oh, if you were to ask me why promote, oh, Jefferson has my vote. Oh, I never agreed with Jefferson once. Oh, we have on like 75 different fronts. And has beliefs, Burr has none. Ooh. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned also. You now see where his loyalty stands. Huh. It's like even though he's always had these run ins and bump ins with Aaron Burr, and you thought things not necessarily were patching up, but just like not to see him as a nemesis, but to see him as somebody he strives to prosper to. It looks like, listen, when the going got tough, then he was in the power of control that he wanted to the entire play. He chose somebody that he felt was right for the job, not somebody that he felt that wanted the job, you know? Ooh. Congrats on a race well run. I did give you a fight. Uh -huh. I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership. As your vice president. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you hear this guy? Man openly campaigns against me. Talking about I look forward to our partnership. It is crazy that the guy who comes in second gets to be vice president. Ooh, you know what? We can change that. You know why? Why? Because I'm the president. Mm. I was Hamilton, an arrogant, immigrant, orphan, bastard horse. Somehow endorsed Thomas Jefferson, his enemy. A man he's despised since the beginning. Just to keep me from winning. Vice President, I am not the reason no one trusts you. No one knows what you believe. I will not equivocate on my opinion. I have always worn it on my sleeve. Even if I said what you think I said, you would need to cite a more specific grievance. Here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreements. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> I am not the shy. I am just a guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten things you need to know. Number one. We will across the Hudson at dawn. My friend William P. Van Ness signed on as my number two. two. Hamilton arrived with his crew. Nathaniel Pendleton and the doctor that he knew. Number three. I watched Hamilton examine the terrain. I wish I could tell you what was happening in his brain. Watch to see methodically fiddles with the trigger. Ooh. Seven. Perfection time. Here's what I got. My fellow soldiers will tell you I'm a terrible shot. Number eight. Your last chance to negotiate. Send them in your second. See if they can set the record straight. They won't teach you this in your classes. But look it up. Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim. It's him or me. The world will never be the same. This man will not make an orphan of my daughter. Number nine. Look him in the eyes, they know how you summon all the courage you require. Then count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, number ten, 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 I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? On my feet, several feet ahead of me. If I throw away my shot, is this how you remember me? Right. What if this bullet is my legacy? Legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. The prince cries up. I'm running out of time. I'm running in my time's up. Wise up. Eyes up. I catch a glimpse of the other side. 
Lawrence leads a soldier's chorus on the other side. My son is on the other side. He's with my mother on the other side. Washington is watching from the other side. Teach me how to say goodbye. Bye. So I'll see you on the other side. <gasps> He's accepted his fate. No. 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 There's a glass to freedom. Right, there's room for both of you. It didn't have to go like this. And there's GW. Tell you what I wish I known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. President Jefferson, I'll give him this. His financial system is a work of genius. I couldn't undo it if I tried. And I tried. <laughs> oh, I love you, Jefferson. So she's not removed from the narrative. I live another 50 years. It's not enough. I interview every soldier who fought by your side. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings. You really do write, but you're running out of time. I rely on Angelica. While she's alive, we tell your story. I get to see them growing up. behind you there he is give her a hug kiss her head Oh no, we can't end it like that. We can't. Oh my God, take a bow, take a bow. Take a bow. Oh my god. Yo, I got goosebumps. Oh my god. I got goosebumps. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to start, how to finish. I'm an emotional wreck. I don't think I've ever been sold on a product so quickly as I did with Hamilton. And that's to say a lot. Because we've reacted to a lot of artists that I've ventured for the first time on this channel that i'm a super fan of but when it comes to this obviously just seeing encanto just everything that had to display i wanted to see more a lot of you always requested hamilton for the longest time i never really had the mind state the time frame to just sit through something that's going to be almost three hours but we did it we just did it i can't believe we finished and i think at the end i'm a lin manuel stand i'm not even a fan Encanto was, I guess, the fan. I'm a stan. Anything this man puts out, bro, it's it's liquid gold. It is liquid gold. It's aging like fine wine. And I'm curious if any of you watching this video, if you've seen the OG cast live, God bless you. Are there anyone from this OG cast that is still doing Hamilton now? I don't know. 
are the prices still ridiculous or they actually got to you know a reasonable budget but this was amazing this was an eye-opening experience going from all the characters the storylines the sub storylines the plot the killings the entanglements the marriages oh man wow that's that's an experience that i'm proud to say we documented for this channel that i've actually proud to say that i've watched for the first time and in doing so it was just amazing what it, it's the best it, it, it truly is the best and i don't think there will be anything that will top that ever like the way that you're blending hip-hop rap with uh you know history and just new york eccentric bringing it all together it's ahead of it it was ahead of its time it's still ahead of its time and lin man well i don't know would you say bigger and better things or just on a path to just best success possible wow wow man that was amazing i want to hear from you though let me know your thoughts and opinions on the video on obviously hamilton how many times have you seen it um if the soundtrack is accessible please i would love to obviously run it back and listen to it but more importantly if i if you are new to this channel and i earned your subscription please subscribe join the movement join the cause uh any requests recommendations always drop them down below and uh follow your boy on social media ig twitter is underscore for 13 that's it we out until the very next one i'm going to see you guys later peace